What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. So in today's video, we are going to take care of some business. Now, <clears throat> I got a little story for you, but I finally got some in. Our local dollar store, our local um, grocery store was sold out of the wasp spray. But I got a story for you. You guys know, if you've watched some of the couple of the last videos whenever I was feeding the Spanish and Kiko goats. Well, I wasn't recording this night, but in some of the other videos, I've been uh, fighting the waspers. Well, one night I wasn't recording. I got stuck in there for about 10 or 12 minutes, something like that. Um, there was a wasp nest on the end of the feed bunk and there was a wasp nest on the other end of the feed bunk right where I go in. I walked right by it and then whenever I did, it, it made them so mad. That thing was bigger around than a grapefruit. It was huge. And I've got two more wasp nests um, Rachel and the kids wasn't home that night. I'm kind of skipping my stories here, but the night I got stuck in the barn, the kids and Rachel was not home. And I didn't have any wasp spray left. I thought I've already taken care of them like a week before in the barn. Well, I get in there and they come back and they rebuilt their nest. So I was stuck in there and I was like trying to figure out how to get out of there without getting stung. So I finally just got brave enough and darted to the door and got out and, uh, didn't get stung but anyways we got I went ahead and took care of those later but I got a couple more that I found now I got a big wasp nest in our barn our chicken coop barn protecting the eggs now I can't get into the corner coop where the chickens like to lay the eggs because there's a big wasp nest in there and the kids and Rachel like to go collect eggs sometimes and help out on the farm <laughs> chores but I told them not to be messing with it until I got the wasps taken care of and here Locally, I could not get any of the wasp spray that uh, takes care of them. So, finally got some in. I had to actually order it on Amazon, which it was actually cheaper, believe it or not. Shipped right to the house. So, anyways, we're going to take care of that today. I got to grab some feed. I'm going to show you guys. I just seen Miss Cora over here. She was rolling around on the compost pile. I see you, girl. What you doing, Cora? <laughs> not you, Walt. Anyways, there's Miss Cora. I don't know where Reese is. I thought I'd just seen him. But he's somewhere. The goats are all grazing. And then I got a bunch of hungry mouse behind me, like always, and Mr. Show Off. Well, do you ever get tired of flirting? Guess not. And there's the four ducks. Okay, I got something else to share with you. I'll share it with you here in just a minute. You guys probably already noticed, but um, so, anyways, let's let's hope, let's cross our fingers and hope we don't get stung. <laughs> You're not gonna get stung, but I might, and if I do, you guys will probably laugh. So, I'll try to record as we go get them wasp. Um, there's a there's another wasp nest in the old turkey pen over there, and it seems like every day we go out there, it just gets bigger. And bigger so we're gonna take care of that today too and uh, see what else we can't find uh, these wasps I know they serve a purpose but they can't be in the areas around the animals and where we have to be because they can be dangerous um, I don't think the kids are allergic to wasps but Rachel is allergic to bees I don't know about wasps <clears throat> when she gets stung by bees um, she tries to stay clear of our honeybees that we have here on the farm but one time she got stung a few times and it wasn't good so anyways i know buddy i'm going to get your food right now and i'll meet you over there look at him bowing up like he's real big you ain't that big quit fluffing your feathers out thinks he's bad <laughs> All right, it don't help when all you girls are in the way, and you, especially Randy, the big chicken on the All right, let's go. Come on, Walt. Come on, lead the way, buddy. He said, I am. All right. So, uh, got a little, hold on, let me switch hands here. When I'm walking, I know the sun's in in, in uh, your guys' eyes. Hey, get off the bucket. All right, so you guys pay so much attention to detail. I know several of you guys that watch these videos already noticed. 
Um, you probably seen a red Jeep sitting in the frame behind Mojo when I just turned around and showing you guys the ducks. Um, so I uh, decided to sell my Toyota Tacoma and uh, we bought a Jeep. It is not a new Jeep, it is a used Jeep, just so you know. Um, but yeah, um, we, uh, I love the Toyota Tacomas. The kids were just getting a little too big to be sitting in the back seat, so it was time to upgrade a little bit and still have a vehicle that we can take off road if we want to. And I see you found something. You said, what are you doing by me, though, Jeep? What do you got there? Huh? This looks like it might have been a duck egg. <clears throat> Just a duck egg? It's yours now. You already cracked it. You might as well eat it. You want me to feed it to you? Huh? Okay, I'll put it with the other egg and I'll feed it to you. So, you ready to go eat? You're being awfully quiet. Peter. Hey. Come over to cheer up. Can you cheer up, buddy? Huh? You've been eating eggs? You've been stealing eggs from the ducks? He said, well, they lay in their nest. They don't have nests. They just lay wherever they want. They can lay in, your, they can lay in the yard. The chickens are supposed to use the chicken coop. But the ducks, we don't mind so much. Okay? Come on. Let's go eat. Come on. Let's go eat. I got your egg. Come on. Come on, Mojo. You want to eat? Come on. Let's go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> so it actually, um, it stormed last night. We got another couple of inches of rain, and this dog is feeling great because the weather cooled down. Hey, where are you going, Mojo? Seriously, he, did he really just do that? I'm pretty sure my dog just faked me out for the biggest fight ever. Uh, he got up, was all excited, ran to the gate to go eat he ran right back to the front porch he totally totally just tricked me out mojo come on oh there he is no he's just wanting to play mojo i got your egg buddy come on come on all right let's get everybody fed first i hear you geese Come on. <laughs> Got my bird friends fed and my goat friends fed and dog friends fed. You gonna come eat? Hey, come on, I got your eggs. Is it Mojo? No, come here. Come here. Right. What, are you, what is your deal today? You just feel like playing? Huh? You just feeling good today? So like I was saying, it stormed last night and this morning and it actually cooled down quite a bit and we are in the middle of July, almost towards the end of July and we got a nice little cold front come in. So let me feed them real quick and I'll feed you, I promise. Alright, let's do this. Then we got some business to take care of. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, uh, Ebony. You really got to jump up on the bucket again. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Ah, oh, there's water. Okay, I gotta dump the water. Hold on. Oh. Okay, this is. Oh, there's water. 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 I really hope I caught that on camera. I don't know if you guys heard that or seen that or not. The rooster was crowing on the gate and he just couldn't wait because he seen I dumped that food on the ground. He continued crowing as he was jumping and flying down from the gate. That is an Americana rooster and he's quite funny. That was uh, pretty cool. Come on, Mo. Your turn. Come on, Come on buddy. He said, okay. He said, I brought my own egg this time. We stole it from the ducks. We're saving those ducks up for the freeze dryer. So, don't eat them all, okay? 
So let me show you guys the difference in these duck eggs. This is a small duck egg, but you can see it's kind of got these Cayuga ducks lay kind of a darker, like almost a black egg. Ours don't lay the real, real dark eggs, but some others they get really almost black when they first start laying them in the spring. All right, here you go, boy. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we gotta take care of business. All right, so the emus love their eggshells. They get all the eggshells they want. Little goats love playing with buckets, all that good stuff. But we come take care of business. We are gonna go get the wasp. But while I'm walking over there, um, I was talking to you guys about the freeze dryer. I wanna show you guys some of the stuff we've been doing. Um, the garden has been going crazy, but check out this little video clip I just recorded a few minutes ago before it came outside. Um, this is really cool because like I told you guys, we're getting so many tomatoes, we gotta figure some stuff to do with them. So here you go. I'll meet you guys over at the chicken coop so we can take care of the wasp. All right guys, look at these tomatoes. These are the tomatoes I've been talking about. It is time to put these in the freeze dryer. So these are some of our early girl tomatoes. They're more of a round, circular tomato. Um, Rachel cut them just a little thicker, maybe than a quarter of an inch. And uh, we got them frozen solid in the freezer. Now we're gonna stick them in the freeze dryer and let them run their course. And uh, I am eager to see what they turn out to taste like because you guys know you, in the dead of winter I don't care where you go um, around Oklahoma anyways you cannot buy good fresh tasting tomatoes um, they're a pale orange color red color they just don't have no flavor you cannot beat homegrown tomatoes especially in the in the middle of summer, um, I mean, this is absolutely one of my favorite things is the tomatoes that we grow on our farm, out of our garden. You just can't beat it. Pair it with some fresh homegrown, uh, home-raised bacon, and you got a nice little meal. So I'm gonna get the rest of them in here and get this freeze dryer started. All right, last tray is in. Freeze dryer is locked and loaded. And we are still using the medium-sized harvest stripe. And guys, this thing has been a game changer. If you guys have been following the last couple series of our videos, we have been trying everything we can imagine in this freeze dryer, all the way from delicious vegetables, fruits. We just did a ton of peaches. We bought a bushel of peaches from a local peach festival here in Northeast Oklahoma. Um, they're the greatest peaches you can get around here. And um, of course, it's like anything else, like I just talked about with these tomatoes, you can only get them in the summertime. So trying to preserve them and make them last years or even just into the winter time, Harvest right is going to come in just great for us. And uh, just like I talked about these tomatoes, um, we are blessed this year. The Lord has really blessed us with our garden. Um, tomatoes is one thing that can go a lot of ways. You know, you can make salsa, you can make soups, you can make all different kinds. Tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever. Um, so you guys seen us make salsa. We freeze dried some of that and that turned out wonderful. Today we're trying the fresh sliced tomatoes. But the next phase I'm gonna do, I've gotta pick some more tomatoes. That garden is just, it's, it's loaded still, but that's a good thing. I am gonna cut up some fresh ripe tomatoes, freeze dry them, and then I'm gonna blend them up into a powder and make like a base for soups and stews and stuff like that. So if you guys are able to get your hands on a harvest right freeze dryer, you will not regret it. It will pay for itself over time. But better yet, like I said, you can get the great, great fresh tasting produce that you usually get in the summertime that you only see in the summertime well into the winter time I, I don't know if you guys are like me but anytime you go to a restaurant or try to buy tomatoes from the store like in winter time they just don't taste good they're like a white pale looking tomato with no flavor i'd rather not even eat them but we're hoping this is going to turn out great so stay tuned for uh next video or two and uh, hopefully we can update you guys and see how these tomatoes turn out and if you guys are interested in a har your very own harvest right freeze dryer make sure to click on the link in the description below okay so like i said this thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it is getting to the point there's so many on there that it is very dangerous 
So that right there, it's hard to tell in this video, I'm sure, but that is bigger than a grapefruit. And there's probably 20 wasps on that thing. And I'll go down a little bit and there's, look at this. There's one there and one there. And they're all got a wasp on them. So let's try to go for the ones on the bottom first. I know the sun's kind of set this camera up. Set the camera up. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let's go for the ones on the bottom first, and then we'll get the ones on top, hopefully. Alright. I don't know if you guys have ever used this foaming wasp spray, but uh, it is the best. It works great. Ah, now they're flying after me. Just to be safe. Alright, that should do the job. But we're not done. We got more in the barn, like I said. Okay, look at this. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of spider nest this is, but uh, the wasp just fell in it. And look at that hole. That's like a tunnel that the spider uses. He's down in there hiding. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, yeah, that's kind of creepy. So I think we got the wasps. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because there'll probably be more coming back. Let's go take care of the other one. So yeah, this stuff right here, guys, <clears throat> uh, spectricide wasp and hornet killer. Phones. Alright. Alright, so we got a couple in here. Let's see if you guys can see these. These get really mad whenever we shut this door right here. Because it always rattles. Here we go, they're already watching me. You can always tell when they know you're coming because they start looking at you and they start like getting all defensive acting. See if I can do this. All right. All right. So you gotta watch out after you get them because sometimes they like to fly. And if they land on you, they're gonna sting you. They're just trying to leave that nest when they start flying. Oh, look at this. Yikes, you gotta watch your head when you're under these lean-tos and barns. Cause this is just like a couple inches above my head. Man, I, need, I might need to get another can of this. All right. Wow. Oh, there's one that just come back. There's another one that just come back. All right, let's go take care of the other ones before we get into a big mess. All right, these are the ones I was really coming to get because these are actually in the chicken coop. And I have almost used a whole can of this already. There's just enough left to get these. So this is what I was talking about. I come in here, the kids come in here. Um, we get all the eggs out of these, okay. But to get in that door right there, the latch is over here. To get in that door to get those eggs, there's a nest box over there. These guys get really mad. So let's see if we can't get them real quick. Ugh. I think we got them. And we'll look around over in here and uh, see if there's any more. That stuff works amazing. All right, so while that's doing that, its job, let's go ahead and gather some eggs. Sticking them in my pocket. I don't have a bucket or anything. 
you guys know how that goes sometimes. Make sure we got all sides of that thing. Alright, looks like they're gone. I don't see any more in the rafters. But those waspers are pretty quiet and you usually don't see them until you get right under them. So let's be careful. Alright. Oops. See there. All right, now we can get the eggs again out of here. So the girls are funny. Um, a lot of times they like making this nest box their favorite, and then other times they like to use the one out in the open over here. You just never know. So, but we check them all three of them every day just because you just never know. And more times than not, um, if one hen starts to lay in one nest, well guess what? Most generally, the other hens will lay in that same nest as that one hen. Don't ask me why, they just do it. They, they like to lay their eggs in the same box a lot of times. Not always, but a lot of times they do. Alright, so I think we're good. Um, I got just a little bit of spray left, so if there's any that's kind of hanging around, we'll, we'll try to nail them suckers. That one there just flew right by me. There's one flying around. All right, that one just hit me in the back of the head. Get out of there, sucker. All right, I don't think I have enough for any more, so let's get out of here. All right, he's done. Oh, there's another one. All right, I'm out of here now. All right. So I turned my water on while I was doing this, so it's full and overflowing, but I'm glad we got that done. Um, I'll come back tomorrow with another can because even though you spray them suckers with this stuff and soak down that nest and all the eggs, it seems like in a day or two they come back and they start laying eggs in there again. So I don't know. It's pretty weird. Hey, Penelope, what you doing, girl? <laughs> so there's Penelope, if you guys remember her. She was a little bottle baby. Henry's over there somewhere. He didn't come to me today, but anyways, she's growing good. There's the big bird, Yoshi. What you know, Yoshi? Okay, I took care of those waspers. I know when you're in that um, shelter, whenever it's raining and stuff, you know, the emus are the tallest animals we got over here, and the heads and everything get really close to those wasp nests, and that's the last thing we need is anybody to get stung, so we had to take care of them. Okay, Yonig? We got them. Don't be eating none of them spicy <laughs> waspers because they'll sting you. <clears throat> Alright, Millie. It's clear, girl. You got a feather in your mouth. I want this guy to win. Hey, Yoshi's gonna get your tail, Smeagol. He loves getting your tail. Look at that. Alright, let's go feed uh, Cora and Liski, see what they're up to. You girls, you can't eat twice every night. You guys get all the scraps, you come eat when I feed you. Never eat. I'm coming, everybody. No need to yell, everybody will be fed. Everybody will be fed. Alright, the sun is starting to just about go down below the tree line. My dogs were barking way over in the distance, so I'm guessing they, uh, okay, I see where they're at. So they're messing with them dang rabbits again. Let me show you guys. Look at this. How are we ever going to break them of this? Look at them. You see them both? Leesky's on the left, right above the tree. Cory's on the right, laying down. I heard them barking, so the rabbits must have been over in their field messing with them again. Come on, Lees! Cora! Come on! <laughs> this has been a challenge. You know that? Here, Ginger. Alright, you guys ready to eat? I can't feed the dogs yet. You're not a goat. Get out of that. Alright, so let me show you my little collection. Look at this. I've been leaving these here, but now they're all empty. I just gotta pick them up because every time I open this door, no matter that I've already killed most of the wasps and uh, taking their nest down, they still fly at me. Watch this. They come out of somewhere. I don't know where they're coming from. They 
they land on that board right there somewhere. And whenever I walk by, they try to get me. They don't seem like they ever bother the goats, though. That's what I don't get. So I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll just see. I don't know. Hopefully they're gone. I don't like wasps. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you guys, you ain't gonna believe this. So I put two eggs in my pocket to feed the dogs. Close the door and you guys know these big green June bugs, what we call them, fly around. There's one right there, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. They just kind of buzz around the grass. Well, one just hit me in the arm right when I was closing this door. And I went like this. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But uh, I just made a huge mess right in my pocket. Golly. Skeeter, do you believe that? Look at that. I have got a huge mess. I knew better than to put the stinking egg in my pocket. Now I got it all over my crop, all over my hand. Oh, what am I going to learn? Look at my pocket. Gross. Okay, well, I plan on taking a shower anyways. Uh, the dogs are still way over there. They see them rabbits as well. All right, little goat, it's your turn. You got to into your uh, feed bowl, I see. <laughs> if you guys are still playing with the feed bowls, Boy, I got all down in my crop. And now my feet, my foot is all squishy. I guess you guys ain't gonna get to see the dogs tonight because they're preoccupied. But look at how big the, the bucks are getting. Um, the does are in here too. They still got the pink ear tags. Um, we got a few that is still getting stuck in the fence, so what you doing little girl? Are you friendly? I think she's one I have to rescue every so often. But anyways, the bucks are getting big. It is almost time to haul them off and sell. And then uh, we'll open this pasture back up with the dogs and the other goats. They are putting on weight really quick. Um, that feeder is empty now. I just have not been, uh, I have not filled it up again since they drained it the last time. I've just been feeding them the same feed that I'm feeding the big goats. And uh, they're doing good. They're growing on it. So I see the uh, stick tights are back out. You girls, uh, the girls got some stick tights on their head and on their beards. You guys can see that. Look at that. <laughs> the stick tights are uh, sticky now. When they first start growing in the fields, they're green. But whenever they start getting brownish and grayish, they uh, start sticking to you. Cora Leesky, come on! Come on! Cora Leesky! Come on! They are not gonna come. They are preoccupied. I'm telling you guys, oh, had to zoom in a little bit. I'm telling you guys, when these dogs get the rabbits on their mind, they don't want no part of anything. It don't matter if it's dinner time or what. They are just obsessed with the rabbits. I don't know how we're ever going to break them. I guess we're just going to go hunting this winter and uh, get some dinner for them. But anyways, I got to um, wash my feet off before I go back in the house. I am sticky. I got to go throw my clothes in the washer. We're gonna have Rachel do it and uh, jump in the shower because this egg gets sticky real quick. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully, the wasps stay away. Um, 
let me guys know several of you guys have went and bought a uh, harvest right freeze dryer from our link and thank you guys so much um, if you didn't know we are affiliates of harvest right and uh, we highly recommend it it is great for food preservation long term <clears throat> long term <clears throat> excuse me short term it doesn't matter we enjoy it the kids are excited they're fixing to start doing some uh, different things in it we're gonna let them do some projects with the freeze dryer and and uh, the possibilities are endless with it so subscribe if you're not subscribed check out the link down in the description if you guys want to learn more about the freeze dryers and uh leave us a comment and we'll see you next time skeeter bug's thirsty did you get egg on your beard your mama's gonna get mad huh?